Franklinella occidentalis, the western flower thrips, is a polyphagous, omnivorous plant pest that can feed on over 250 crop species of plants, often consumes pollen, and is also known to feed on predatory mite and spider mite eggs. Dispersal mainly occurs by wind as aeroplankton, and their small size lends them to avoiding detection, especially during the movement of plants or product in transport. An adaptive physiology increases their resistance to both defensive phytochemicals and pesticidal compounds alike, as well as physical attack by certain predators. They are one of the most encountered pest thrips documented. Thrips are vectors of tospoviruses like tomato spotted wilt virus and impatiens necrotic spot virus, and the western flower thrips is one of the most important vectors of these viruses due to its prevalence. It is also one of the species of thrips known to produce repellent compounds which affect predatory mite behavior. Life cycle development is influenced greatly by host plant and temperature. For instance, a 1995 evaluation of western flower thrips development under different temperatures clearly showed how much a change of just a few degrees can have. The difference between 12 degrees Celsius and 15 degrees Celsius was the difference between first instar larval development taking over a month and taking about half a month on cucumber. An increase of 5 more degrees cuts developmental time to larvae in half, with a developmental sweet spot residing between 20 to 30 degrees Celsius, wherein larvae can be expected in as little as 5 days or so post oviposition. Temperatures higher than 30 degrees Celsius start to have a severe deleterious effect on population growth and survival, with complete instantaneous mortality occurring around 35 degrees. In a 2003 study aimed to understand different host plant development times at a constant 25 degrees Celsius, documented western flower thrips can reach adulthood in as little as 9 days on cucumber or approximately 13 days on tomato. An individual female thrips could produce about 21 females in its lifespan on cucumber and cabbage, about 11 on bean, 7 on tomato, but only one or so on capsicum peppers. This matches up with longevity rates, which were about 16 days on cabbage, but only 8 on capsicum, implying that the latter is a lower quality food source than the former. There was another 2003 study that documented the developmental changes of cucumber-fed western flower thrips with various supplemental pollen at 25 degrees Celsius. Cucumber leaf with no pollen had thrips producing about 32 females per female. The pollen that affected net reproduction rate the least was the pollen of the common cattail Typha latifolia. Pollen from Pinus sylvestris, the scotch pine, increased the production of females the most, with females producing a staggering 141 females per female. Interestingly, this pollen is toxic to the predatory mite Neocilulus cucumerus, which is used for control of western flower thrips. The takeaway from this study is that access to pollen can have a substantially positive supplementary effect for western flower thrips development. Oftentimes, the ability to feed on multiple plant hosts implies a physiology that can handle many plant toxins, and this can lend itself to resistance to pesticidal agents as well. Populations have been reported to be resistant to myriad pesticidal agents, including some of the most noxious chemistries ever applied in a cultivation space. Combined with its quick fecundity under most cultivation conditions, resistance to xenobiotics develops easily. There are many treatments for the western flower thrips, but a reliance on previously effective chemical agents is declining. Biocontrol agents are popular, and several species of predatory mites are available. Amblyceus swirskii and Neocilius cucumeris are commonly implemented as predators of larvae and eggs that exist in the foliage. Since pupae often fall to the ground during development, it can be helpful to employ a predator active in the soil, like the predatory soil mite Hypoaspis miles or the rove beetle Delosia coriaria to control this life stage. All of these agents are generalists, which control several other common pest species, giving their deployment additional value, and they are 
all most effective when used preventatively, before the detection of pests. The large host range of the western flower thrips gives it many safe havens from which to develop outside of treatment areas, and it may also be helpful to eliminate potential hosts on cultivated property that are unnecessary to impair nearby colonization. In summary, Franklinella occidentalis is a pest well adapted to cultivation conditions, capable of feeding on many crop species with a respectably high population growth rate. Development is variable, dependent on temperature and host, but access to pollen sources can dramatically increase fecundity. Biocontrol organisms are replacing chemical agents in popularity and are especially effective as a prophylactic.